My name is Natalie Bofu and I'm the cultural prefect at Dominican Convent. Here with me today are two special ladies who have raised the convent flag high and couldn't go unnoticed. So I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Tanato Makonese and I'll be receiving the Outstanding Cambridge Learners Award for Top in Zim for AS Art. And my name is Nana Tomabumbucha and I'll be receiving the Top in the World Award for Food and Nutrition. Alright, thank you. So briefly, tell us. What does this award mean to you and what did it take you to get there? Well, for starters, I suppose that this award means absolutely the universe to me, not just the world, because the sacrifices that I've had to put in order to get this award were quite extensive. I had to sacrifice my sleep, I had to sacrifice my time, my lunch time, my break times, and to be honest, I love food. And the fact that I had to sacrifice food and isolate myself from my friends and be independent and work independently. At the same time, I also had to embody my art and make it as personal as I could in order to show that this was a personal experience and it was really stressful, but the outcome was clearly worth it. Yes, Nirata? Um, It really took a lot for me to get where I am in terms of this award because I had a lot of difficulty in terms of the subject content because it comprised of biology and I haven't been really, I, I, I've never been really that good at um, science subjects. So it really took a lot of work and a lot of determination for me to understand the concept. Um, it took a lot of sacrificing my sleep, um, my lunch times. I had to go and see um, my subject teacher whenever I, I could so that I could understand. And it took a lot of practice because um, you need a lot of practice in order to master um, the time plans that come with food and nutrition. Yes. So it sounds like your journey wasn't easy. So what would you say was the biggest challenge that you faced or experienced? Um, so here at Convent, we have three classes. We have the A class, the A1 class, and the A2 class. So I was in the A2 class, and my confidence levels weren't that high. So the fact that I had to compete with ladies that were well-versed in the science subject. So I really had to push, you know, and give it my all for me to to prove that I to myself that I could do it and I, and I could get to where I am despite the class that I was coming from. Yes, thank you. And last one, the same. I pose the same question to you. What do you feel was the biggest challenge? I feel like the biggest challenge for me was swallowing my pride, especially after I'd received my O level result for art and I'd received an A star. So I had to push down whatever accolade that I esteemed myself to be getting and decided to work harder and achieve greater and also raise the convent flag high. I had to also understand that I could be a role model for other people. So I had to really suppress my own pride and also I also had to really, really, really sacrifice my food. And it wasn't easy. I love eating. I miss it even now. I really do. Right, thank you. In closing, what inspired you and what motivated you to push past these difficulties and these challenges that you faced? Well, I suppose my main inspiration was a, a similar artist who pursued AS art and also gained top in New Zealand. So every time I looked at her art, I could not help but compare myself to her outstanding talent and also her fluency in English as well as her background that she was always talking about. So I thought that I should also try my hardest to achieve what she had attained or even surpass her. And that same that same self-esteem aspect that I had to overcome, it motivated me to do better. And the fact that I was the only AS student doing art, I had to show that convent could also have art students because our school is mainly sciences and I wanted to be a banner for people like me who love art and have a passion for it. Right, thank you. What inspired and motivated you, Nahadu? Um, My mother is a holder of a degree and master's in art and design. Um, she has numerous awards from NAS University and she really pushed me because she proved to me that it doesn't matter where you come from. Just as long as you put in the work, you can get um, anything that you desire. 
and people like Tanato Makoni say, um, Tibeli Shekumalo and Unati Biki really pushed me um, to know that I, I could do it if I did put in the work because my dad's um, success you know in business really proved to me that hard work can be talent if talent does not put in the work so these individuals really inspired me to push myself the best that I could in order to achieve my dreams. Thank you. Thank you. You've heard it from them. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't put in the work and having a role model, an icon to look up to like Amanda Zhang really helps and motiv helps motivate and push you towards whatever goal you set out for yourself. That's it from me, Natalie Mbofu, the cultural PPM. Thank you and have a blessed day.